yo, yo, what's going on, gamers? Your boy, I Maverick here back with another daily dose. I just did the timing to that horrible. Again, let's start over. What's going on, gamers? It's your boy, I Maverick here back with another daily dose. Then in comes the beat. All right, y'all. So, start with the happy Thanksgiving. I always start to say Merry Thanksgiving like it's Christmas. Merry uh, that act. Anyway, uh, happy Thanksgiving for all of those that support it. Or not support it, that celebrate it. I know everyone, all my viewers don't celebrate Thanksgiving. Uh, but even if, whether you celebrate Thanksgiving or not, the question of the day. What are the three things you're most thankful for? The three things you're most thankful for. In the comment section. Very curious. And I probably should start answering my own questions of the day, huh? Some, if y'all notice, sometimes I forget to mention it in the video. So I got to think of it after the video as I'm uploading it. But... This is hard because I'm kind of put on the spot. Uh, I put myself on the spot here. Uh, I would first, I'd have to say my relationship with God. Second, my family. Three, I would, I would, I would probably have to say all of you guys, man. I love it. I love. Uh, I'm extremely blessed to be where I'm at, and I appreciate you guys, and I'm very thankful for it. All the support you guys show me. Uh, we're really close on a hundred thousand subs. So yeah, I'm, I'm thankful for that, man. Very thankful for that. So yeah, I appreciate y'all. Alright, so we're going to make this a shorter episode because I have to hurry up and get downstairs and help my wife with the cooking. This monitor shining all bright in my face. <clears throat> and the lights, it might be a little bit darker for this episode. Because I have to figure out my lighting in this, in this house. Because with this house, the light shines like really bright on this side of my face. And it just it's just annoying like light spot. So I don't know how to fix that. So for now it's got the lights lower. But um any any suggestions on the lighting, let me know. Maybe you think I gotta bring another light here so it's just bright lights all over my face. I don't know. We'll figure it out. But yeah, so for this short little episode, um I know I told you guys I was gonna do a daily dose for Thanksgiving. Um I will be filming some of the festivities or whatever today, but I'll probably post that tomorrow. So I didn't want to have you guys not get a, a, a episode today because it's daily dose. So I figured I'd do this one. So we're going to answer three quick questions and we'll call this a short little episode. All right. So my man Nima asks, I don't even know if it's a man. Could be a girl, Nima. But he said, hey, Mav, my name is Nima and I've been a sub since Madden 12. Back then you were swearing left and right. I was cussing a lot. And let me turn this beat down a little. Back then, you were swearing left and right, but now you don't swear at all. What steps did you take to stop cussing? Also, I know you never cuss while recording, but do you cuss off camera or, or in your head? Thanks a lot. I'll always support you in everything you do. I appreciate that, Nima. I always appreciate that kind of support. Um, so first part, what type of steps... Uh, what steps did you take to stop cussing? I didn't really, I didn't really have any steps. It was just, just stopping, right? It was just, um, I wanted it bad. And I've talked about this in earlier episodes, so I won't go too deep on it. But I had a really strong reason why. Is I really wanted to be a better example for, you know, people young and old that were watching my, my videos. And so it was really cool that I actually had, if you guys go back to my earlier videos, even on this channel now, you'll, you'll see the cursing was bad. Um... <clears throat> and it's cool that it, I haven't, and I haven't taken it down. Some people think I take it down, not because I'm not ashamed of it. I, I actually like it that you can see the transformation. So uh, I had a really clear reason why. And, and as I've been talking about the reason why that will drive you to accomplish your goals, some people think that they can just have a reason why that's like, oh, I want to be successful. You got to be very specific. You got to be so specific with your goal. And then so my thing was, I didn't just want to be successful. I wanted to be, I wanted to provide clean entertainment. For people and um, I wanted to inspire people and I know I could do both of those so every time I felt like cursing <coughs> I had a reason why that was bigger for my reason to curse right so I'd want to curse and it would be like uh, someone someone made me mad right and I want to curse them out and this is how bad I want to curse them out but my reason why you know inspiring people and um, you know, just showing my transformation and glorifying God was this big. 
So every time that 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 came up, I had that that battle, and I was just like, "All right, my reason why is so much bigger than why I want to curse right now." Camera's kind of out of focus, but we'll be all right. So, so yeah, I would say a strong reason why for anyone that's trying to stop cursing or really accomplish anything. Um, but there really was no steps. Like I didn't just try to focus on stop saying a certain word. It was just I wanted it really bad, and I just did everything I could to do it. Um, and it's oh and then and but there was a process like certain words came easier the hardest thing for me to stop cursing and stop saying was the n-word that was so ingrained in me uh like i would say n-word like any of you guys might say man like you might be like what up man i'd be like what up my ninja and it was just so like i didn't consider it a curse word for me and i even defended myself for a while on using it so <laughs> so yeah, it was definitely hard. One of the hardest things I've had to do. But again, my, it was my reason why. And he said, also, um, do you cuss off camera or in your head? No, I don't. But that was a progression too. I got to a point where I wasn't cursing in any of my videos. Um, but I wasn't like it wasn't like I just had no filter when I was off camera. But I would still slip more because you know there wasn't that audience, right? And then I had to kind of realize why I was making the change and if I really wanted to make a change. Um, and be a genuine change because I don't feel you can if it wasn't a genuine change in me just trying to focus um, if it wasn't a genuine change in me I feel like I would have got exposed for it right and I feel like eventually like the darkness always comes to light so if you're not really genuine people gonna realize you know what I mean it would be a time where you know, especially with how I rage and Madden, or maybe I was on a live stream, right, where I couldn't edit nothing out, and it would just slip, like, oh, man, at this fool, or I would think my mic was off, and I'd be cursing to my wife, you know what I mean, like, man, you see these ninjas, blah, 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 so, um, I was like, I gotta make it a genuine thing, and so, but it was definitely easier for me to stop cursing off camera, and then off, or on camera, it was easy to stop cursing on camera, and then the off camera was like a month or two behind right so it was like a little uh uh because because i knew because i knew right when i was cursing i had thousands of eyes on me that were gonna see it when i was off camera my wife might be there no one might be there might be a couple people right so um so just the accountability that was that was in place when i was on camera uh just made like i was on my best behavior if that made sense um but now, no. Now I don't curse off camera at all. But it's been like that for at least a year, if not years. I don't remember exactly how long ago I made that change. But but then your your second part of your question, uh, do I curse people in my head? All the time. <laughs> all the time. Uh, I be starting to curse um, in my head in videos, right? Like it's still a part of me. That temptation to curse is still there. So that hasn't gone nowhere. Will it ever go somewhere? I hope. But, yeah, in my head, definitely. I'll be reading the comments. <clears throat> and because it was so natural for me to just curse and curse people out, I'll be reading the comments and someone will say something stupid. And my head will be like, you dumb mother, stupid piece of, ah, you, you know what I mean? My mind goes there, right? And then I'm just like, hmm, God bless you, good sir. And then I keep it moving. And that's actually a good lesson, too. People need to realize that temptation isn't sin. Even Jesus was tempted, right? Um, but he was still perfect. So just because you have these tempting thoughts, um, I mean, no matter where it is, and it doesn't mean you shouldn't try to deal with them and try to cast those thoughts out, but you have tempting thoughts, whether it's to curse someone out, to punch someone, uppercut someone. Uh, maybe you're in a relationship, right, and you're tempted, to, uh, like you're, you're tempted towards another male or another female. And again... I'm not trying to get into the homosexual stuff, but that can be a temptation, right? Um, just no matter what, like everyone, everyone deals with temptations. And some people get mistaken with like, oh, because I'm tempted, I'm sinning. Or because I'm tempted, I'm wrong. And that's not the case. Everyone's tempted. It's just what you do with that temptation. Like I said, Jesus was tempted. He overcame that. And so, um, do I curse in my head? Oh, you better believe it. You better believe it. Um, I'd be cursing my wife out. I'd be cursing my mama out in my head. I'd be cursing um, everybody that I shouldn't curse out, right? Because I'll get mad and I'll be like, mm. so on the outside, it's like, hey, man, you suck. And I'm like, oh, man, 
I'm, you know, I'm really sorry that you feel that way. And, um, but I do appreciate you for even checking me out. I'm sorry that you weren't, you know, appreciating, uh, what I'm offering, but you know what? You have a blessed day, sir. But in my head, it's like, man, if you suck, yeah, your mama suck. Your mama, yeah, your mama. See, I'm so rough around the edges. I'm sorry, y'all. Uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> God ain't through with me. But my mind goes there, right? Yeah. Okay, yeah, your mama suck. You stupid son of a, you know what I mean? Like, my mind does go there. Um, so, yeah, that's something I, I still deal with. Very much, very much so. Good question. <laughs> um, Nima, good question. We might only do one more question. I'm going to try and keep this short. <coughs> See how fast I can answer these. Young Prince. Hey, Mav, I'm looking to start twitching YouTube since you've been at it for a while. And I watch your videos and I watch your videos always. And even right, I was wondering, do you have any tips other than hard work? Because I'm about that already. Uh, Young Prince, hard work. Yeah, I mean, you can stay consistent with what you do. A lot of people uh, will go hard for like a month and only be getting two viewers a video and they'll stop. You got to, if you ain't gone for, if you really want this, because if you just want to do it as a hobby, I mean, do whatever. If you really want to be a YouTuber, you, you better go two years minimum uh, with 10 viewers a video or something and then come back to me and be like, I've tried everything. You know what I mean? So through those two years, you need to be grinding, putting out videos as often as you can. Quality videos, too. Don't just put out crappy videos. Quality videos. Be learning the game. Research. Watch other people. Um, see what they're doing that works. Try and make friends and collaborate with them. Don't look for handouts, though. Um, like, don't look to try and make it good with someone like me so that they can bless you and start your channel off. Don't try and bank on that getting you started. Cause that's not very likely right you should try and just work your hardest make people that are just a little bit higher than you or around your same level network with them you'll grow a little bit then you network with someone else you'll grow a little bit and then as you get bigger you can work with bigger people and you can expand more but just like trying to get someone like me or bigger I'm just saying cuz I got a decently sized channel for someone that's starting out or even a bigger channel like trying to bet on one of us to get you started is, is like it's like going for the lottery all right now, and I'm not saying, and I'm saying this, but I don't want you guys to start trying to offer this to me because I don't know that I have the time. But another strategy would be if you wanted to try to get someone like me to give you a shout out, you can, or even someone like that, someone like me to mentor you and help you, you could offer something as a benefit for us. Because right now, like, let's say someone was like, man, let's do a sub swap. Um, you, we'll, we'll play a game together. I'll shout you out, you shout me out. Or we'll do any kind of collaboration. That makes sense for me to do something like that with GS. Someone that's around the 90,000, 80,000, 70,000, 100,000 maybe subscribers. And they're getting constant views, right? It doesn't make that, um, it doesn't make sense for me to do that with someone that's like a, has 1,000 a subs, even 10,000 subs. Uh, because what I'm getting in return isn't as big, right? So... Um, if you have like a smaller channel and I'm not saying do this to me I'm just trying to help you all if you want to try it for someone else you approach them and be like you know what and if someone has a really good offer to me maybe maybe I, I would accept this right but you, you got to get on their good graces right so um, and I put this in terms of like business like I've tried to get uh, like millionaires and people that's really making moves to mentor me right and this has worked and I'll approach them and I'll be like hey what is it that you hate doing the most? I'll do it for you for free. And you really just leave it at that. You can also go in and be like, you know what, maybe in exchange you can just uh, mentor me a little bit on the side, you know, a couple times a month when you have time. Or you just try and build that relationship. Like, hey, you know what, let me um, let me do all your, your bookkeeping or something. Let me just do... Uh, it, it depends what niche you're in. Like, say it's YouTube. Let me edit all your thumbnails for you. I hate doing thumbnails, right? So if someone came to me and was like, and they, they were good at it, though. Like, they'd have to be good, not sloppy thumbnails. So, like, for me, when I got started, I came to GS. I was like, I'll build you a website. I'll help you get your brand online. I'll market all this stuff. And you just shout me out in the video, right? So, really, in comparison, that's equal value, if not more value. So, you got to come You got to come with something like that. Like, yo, let me edit all your thumbnails for free, bruh. Look, I do, and you got to do quality work, and they're going to be like, wow, all of that for free? Are you sure? Yeah. And then you do that for free. You do that, and I'm, it's, again, it comes down to how bad do you want it. You do it for free for like a good six months, and then you drop it on them, 
because then you've almost guilted them into helping you, right? It's been like, hey, uh, you know, I got my own channel I've been working on here for the last six months. How convenient. Um, just can you look at it when you get a chance? Give me some tips. If someone hit me with that after six months, right? I'd be like, all right, man, let me check it out because you've helped me so much, right? It's, it's, I got to reciprocate that back to you. It's almost guilt tripping. And so uh, in marketing, we call it like the godfather method. And so you just pro provided so much value to me up front. I had to give that back. And so that would be an, uh, another way. And then you have me as a mentor and I could uh, just give you all. You have me, you know, that I could give all my tips to you and stuff that I've learned and all my knowledge and stuff I've learned from trial and error over the years. So that's 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 another strategy too. Um, don't flood my inbox with hey, I'll do your thumbnails though, unless you're like you got a track record of like clean thumbnails. You can be ready on demand to do a thumbnail quick, and you you beast you with it. Then maybe get at me on Twitter with and link me some of your work. There's my Twitter. Follow me on Instagram too. You want You want to get your email answered? Reach uh, reach imav at gmail dot com. All right, uh, last one, and we're out of here. First off, got to say, love your videos. This is from Michael. Started watching a few weeks back and watched and watched and enjoyed every video since. Question is, since you have started your channel and grown in popularity, what is the coolest thing you have gotten to do because of your channel? Ooh. Uh, probably the coolest thing is just to have your guys' support, man, to the point where my wife's in the hospital sick, and I'm getting thousands of thousands of tweets and comments like, wifey, get better. Um... I'm able to share stuff with you guys like um, you know we get the we get the house and you guys are happy for us I get to get all your guys testimonies and uh, some of you guys let me into your life and let me know some of the real scary things that's going on and I can pray for you guys probably that um, but be besides that I haven't got nothing really cool yet um, for coin sponsorship has been awesome <clears throat> Um, really cool just I've never really been sponsored by something before um, and it's nice like another um, another income right financially so that was cool but like I oh another cool thing is I got accepted into the EA Sports Ronku program so if you guys see me do a video and it says like Ronku at the bottom okay um, there's a good chance I got that game for free there's a good chance not all of them but most of them I got it for free um what else uh um that one isn't nothing like the coin sponsorship it, there is like a um like we do get paid for those that's nothing crazy though so but it's i guess it's cool right um what else what else the ronku free games is cool man i think so um and it's not something that's like often but i got like nhl for free i got fifa for free i got nba live for free and i got my madden copy on xbox for free um i think that's it i haven't got nothing else like i haven't got no big sponsorships i haven't got flown out nowhere um nothing like that we, we probably have to grow a little bit more for that but who knows who knows y'all keep supporting who knows um and that'd be awesome that'd be real awesome so that's it man for this episode we're gonna get this one in the books under 20 minutes that might be a, a daily dose world record. I appreciate y'all rocking with your boy. Hope you guys have a blessed Thanksgiving. Again, in the comment section, question of the day. What are the three things? That's six. That's four. That's three. The three things you are most thankful for in the comment section. Let me know. And again, as always, appreciate y'all. Y'all mean the world to your boy. Y'all be easy. Until next time. God first. God bless.